Welcome to the latest video. Just off to Kingston upon Thames, which is a royal borough in London. Just off to see the Christmas market, the Christmas lights, what sort of Christmas festivities they've got this year. Go down by the river, by the River Thames. Enjoy the video. Keep likes and share this video as well. I'll speak to you soon. Kingston upon Thames, as you can see. Um, which half on Dayton is over there? Go down that way. Looks like the um, cancer research closed, unfortunately. Oh well, it's the way of it. the world, isn't it, these days? Never mind. No, let's go around this way. This is called Eden Street. The library up there, Rotunda, you'll find it to the right. Well, it was to the right. But as you can hear, I am about there, you can see on the map. Going down this way to first to check out the um, charity shops down here and then obviously it's Uden Walk very Christmasy, check out Christmas lights as well later. Oh. A lot of shops, we've got the um, British Heart Foundation down there. I'm going to pop into British Heart Foundation and I'll switch to in a bit.
Heritage Heart Foundation with a pile of rubbish. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. When was that woods? Oh, there's a bit of market. Down this way folks. Just to let you know it is a Saturday. Um, Saturday the 12th. Just walking down the main high street. Oh Mark Spence has moved folks. It's moved somewhere. What do you think about the decorations? Pretty alright, isn't it? Right, I could go down that way to see the lights. I'll go down that way first. Past the shops that are closed. Good. Chow shop to the right. And then the bend tools to the left. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the <tunes>, folks. <laughs> Just mentioned cancer research, got three games. We'll show you a picture of these now. And there is the Venital Centre, which I'll go in, in a bit. Round the corner to Natajex, if it's open. I'm gonna have to come back to Natajex, there was a massive queue. We're only letting like four people in at a time. Takes forever in there, it's a tiny shop. It's the first one, just down the corner by Mark Spencer's. The next one's up here. There's a third one, just up here, it's free. Ah, two seasons is shut, right. There's another charity shop down here on the um, left are going to as well. So I picked up these Rumpel Upper Bailey and the German Risk for 3 dollars each. Should do really well from um, Ox Firm. I'm going to go that way round next, turn the right towards CX and KFC where I get some food. to the left, the rotunda, lots and lots of places. Just about there is the station. Odeon as well. Right, now heading past the um, rotunda, towards Nadjax and then towards Christmas lights eventually. I'll go to the um, Bentil Centre first. Oh, that you feel it? Chicken box meal thing was bang on tidy, folks. Do get one from KFC. If you order just eat online or go in the shop and do it. Must do it, folks. See if a queue for um, Natajax has calmed down. smaller queue than before folks, I might try that one. Then head over to the Bentall Centre.
gonna head this way around to the market area. Um, see what they've got this year for the market, food stalls, etc. Hello, 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 just subscribe. A rather nice tree though, isn't it? And a few decorations by John Lewis. Here is the Kingston Market. Obviously it's not as big as previous years. I'll link those two videos from last year and year before from Kingston upon Thames and see how big the market um, used to be because they used to have a stage around here. Oh, by the Druid's Head, the Grade 1 listed building. I'm going to go down by the church, check out the church, and then head down to the riverside in a bit. Luckily the rain has stayed off as well. Here we are, one of the many entrances to the church area. All Saints Church. Interesting. Been a sight on this for a thousand years. 10th century. Ah, oh, placed by Normans. Cool. Kingston was probably in a doomsday book as well, like um, Chesington. <laughs> wow.
There we are, grill folks. Oh. There was two. One now. Hello mate. Hello, mate. That's personal. Hello. <laughs> Just like if you saw my um, first hitching vlog, I think it was, from the meetup, I personally uh, close and personal with some squirrels. From the church area, we're going to head over to the war memorial over this way. <laughs> In honour of the men of this town who gave their lives during the two great wars. All the lovely wreaths and poppies they've got. Lots and lots and lots of names there. People who died in the First and Second World War. This church here is called the Everyday Church. That is architecture. Pretty interesting with the um, stained glass windows. We're going to go past John Lewis now, all the way up to the um, Kingston Riverside, past that charity shop, that's very expensive. We're here, Princess Alice Hospice. We've got to head up past John Lewis, Rach Rose, up to here. Past um, TK Maxx. All the way onto the Kingston Bridge where you can go to Hampton Court, Hampton Court Palace, Hampton Wick, Bushy Park. By the Kingston Riverside. Köszönjük a kandariánt, de 
this way in front of me you can get a boat towards Hampton Court, Bushy Park etc and it goes on foot all the way down you can go to Surbiton but normally the boats run from Turks Boatyard etc but not running as much obviously at the moment but they do used to run charters to Hampton Court Palace that way and behind me Richmond Park And this way, you can get a boat, which you can get it from here. It's called Turk's Boatyard. And you get the boat there, you normally, to this way, Richmond upon Thames, takes around about 40 minutes to an hour to get around, past Teddington Lock, and behind me, As I said, you can get to Hamden Court Palace, Bushy Park, etc. And that takes around about half an hour to get to. If you're walking on foot through the paths down here, it takes you all, to, all, all the way to Ham via the um, park and the Boaters Inn, for example. I've got a couple of good places to go down by the riverside both sides and to the uh, old London Road as well and then obviously um, it's time to go home. Let me know in the comments below what you like about this video. I've been to Kingston Pond Thames before, um, where have you been? And I'll speak to you in a bit. Here's the Turk boat yard, the pier, daily trips to Hampton Court and Richmond when they're allowed to do it. Private hire, 20 to 150 guests. Now it's pre booking only and on Saturdays and Sundays but it used to be pretty much Wednesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays and Sundays quite a lot. So it's summer 2020. I've got some videos on my channel but I went on the, the boat. Welcome to Canterbury Gardens at dusk. I won't go all the way up but what I will do next year during summer I'll do a whole trip along the riverside that's about half an hour show you all the all the park and all the um really how can i describe it lovely places that, that there is as you go along this way if you go on the boat or one day when i'm running you'll see the big houses going towards richmond park like for example over here let me just put your bags down the massive mansion houses that people have by the riverside now going to head this way to the other side of the river going towards Hampton Court Palace just to share about halfway round and then go via the Rose Theatre
going down by the main riverside walk by all the restaurants and stuff. Next, next right. The bishop. Will I see some ducks, folks? Will I see them? There we go. He found the ducks. Here is Charter Key. Really cool place. Layer flats. Now I can head this way to the Bose Theatre and head to the main centre of town. Rose Theatre is that way, so we we'll head off that way. You can go that way all the way down there towards um, Surbiton, but I don't need to. I'm gonna go this way. Head off round via the Rose Theatre. Stumbled out down there by the Rose Theatre, turned round, and there's Noxfam. I didn't even know it was um, here. Let's have a look, it's still open. Might as well go through another. Butchers, I think it's time. Yeah, I'm sure there's people in there. Wow, Oxfam. Okay, you threw something else, but oh, I don't know, it's Oxfam. Not bad. Another stab, not being here. Probably about uh, three times this year, of course. Wow, let's go in, have a look. Certainly interested in finding an Oxfam. Not sure how long it's been there, to be honest. I can't remember being there last time I came in. So I do now, I'll go this way, past the um, road theatre, back to the main area, show the lights. Over here is the road theatre. That I saw um, Enter Shikari about two years ago. British band from St Albans, opposite the Mr Plod station. Oh, there we go, Rose Theatre folks. Clatterin Bridge. Oh. Um, the Hogsmill River. As you can see where we are. Here's the Christmas lights all lit up, the tree, etc. As I'm on my way home.
just going to end the vlog here now. Um, thanks everyone for watching this vlog uh, for Kingston Pond Thames. If you like the vlog, leave me a comment down below what you liked and all that. Like, share and subscribe to this place. Take care folks.